AccuDraw is designed to make it as easy as possible for you to define points accurately when creating or modifying an element. While drawing, AccuDraw evaluates the position of the cursor and your cursor activities to drive its intuitive behavior. In this lesson you will learn Drawing with Precision. Continuing in AccuDraw.dgn, open the Learning AccuDraw model. When active, AccuDraw tries to anticipate your intent by reading your cursor movement. Here's a couple of things you need to keep in mind when using AccuDraw. First, move the cursor in the direction in which you wish to draw. The next step is to enter the desired values for the distances and or angle into the AccuDraw window. Second, Set your AccuDraw values without actually clicking in the input fields in the AccuDraw window. Moving your cursor to the AccuDraw window undoes the automatic XY field selection. That is why AccuDraw's window input focus automatically selects the correct field in the AccuDraw window based on the direction of the cursor movement. To help you understand this behavior, the following exercise will take you through the process of creating this simple object using best AccuDraw practices. You will start in the lower left corner and draw in a counterclockwise direction. Select Place Smart Line and enter a data point anywhere to start. This is the first vertex of the element. The AccuDraw compass appears at the data point location as expected. Ensure the AccuDraw compass is set to rectangular coordinates, the square compass. Press the M key to switch to it if necessary. Move the cursor to the right and keep it indexed to the X axis. The X field now has the input focus. When you type in a value now, it will automatically appear in that field. Without moving the cursor in the AccuDraw window, type in 2000 on the keyboard. Note how the previous value in the X field was overwritten without requiring us to clear the field first. Enter the data point to accept the value. Note that the compass moves to the new data point location. Move the cursor upward to index to the Y axis and type 800. Accept with a data point. Hint. If something goes wrong, you can always press Ctrl Z or select Edit Undo to undo the last segment and continue from the previous point. Next you will draw the oblique segment. As you can see, the XY axes have been rotated 90 degrees, but don't worry, this is to be expected. As a rule, the XY field with the largest value has the input focus, in this case the Y field. The process is to type that value first, then press the tab key to switch over to the other field and type that value in. Ensure the Y field has the input focus. If needed, move the cursor a bit closer to the horizontal axis. Next, type 1000. Note how the horizontal direction is locked to 1000 as you move the cursor around. A dashed line appears indicating the lock. Next, press the tab key to switch to the X field, or move the cursor up until AccuDraw switches to the field. Type 500 in the X field. Both fields are now locked. If you have to correct the input, you can press the X key or the Y key on your keyboard to unlock the field and enter the new value. Note how the compass is automatically rotated in alignment with the last line segment. This is normal. To rotate the compass to align with the view axis, press the V key for view rotation. The Y axis now points straight up. 
This is a shortcut key in to a specific AccuDraw command. AccuDraw shortcut key ins only work when the focus is in the AccuDraw window. To force focus back to AccuDraw, press the F11 key or click in the AccuDraw window. The next vertex we'll be setting will be exactly above the start point of the object. Instead of entering a value to return to the starting point of this object, let's try something different. Move the cursor to the left and index to the horizontal axis. Press the Enter key to lock the cursor to the axis. The Y field is locked to zero and the cursor's movement is constrained to the X axis. With the key point snap mode active, move the cursor to the start point and snap. This sets the length of the line segment we are working with. Data point to accept. Close the object by snapping to the start point again and data point. If you need to practice and want to try this again, press Ctrl Z to undo the creation of the object. Close AccuDraw.dgn. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.